Good afternoon, and this is HSQ ETV. I'm Dave White. And I'm Monica Barbosa. We're joined today by Nick Millington, Safety Task Force Leader at Network Rail. Nick is committed to reducing open line working when possible and introducing technologies to support workers with reliable, effective warning systems. Could you expand on these two highlighted areas for our audience, please, Nick? So two things, reducing open line working and then using warning systems. So open line working, in the last 20 years, we have had a number of fatal accidents with track workers working uh, or being struck by trains, and that's not acceptable. And in the most part, in the significant most part, it's not necessary to plan to put people to work in front of moving trains. So we've done a lot of work over the last two and a half years to reduce the need to put track workers on railways that are open. And we've used technology to do that. Um, we've used a lot of intelligent infrastructure, our monitoring fleet, and a number of other methods to reduce the need to put humans in harm's way. But the railway um, needs humans on it from time to time. There are certain activities that need, you need to put humans on the railway, and that's where we need better warning systems. So if you look at the, um, the traditional lookout warning system, um, that is prone to human frailty and human factors, and we know it fails. Uh, if you look at lookout operated warning systems, we know that there are human factors um, of concern that cause failure modes with loud systems. And where we're focused on is train activated warnings. So the, um, the work that we are doing at the moment, we've got about 140 sites around the country where we know we need to put humans on the railway and we've accepted that risk. And then what do we do to keep that risk at an absolute minimum? Um, that is, we, we are designing train activated warning systems and we are deploying those warning systems uh, in, a, in, a, in an effort to reduce so far as we reasonably can the risk of human error, but using the most up-to-date modern safety equipment. Nick, the Safety Task Force found that unassisted lookout systems or LOWs are engaged in an unusually high number of events or near misses. So what specific steps are you taking to reduce the use of LOWs and is there a deadline for any proposed changes? So, we are concerned about LOWs and we are concerned about the near-miss frequency with LOWs. And there are a number of things that we're doing to reduce the need to use LOWs. So the first thing we are doing um, in a number of places, the tasks that we do with LOWs, we can do in other ways. So we can use technology, monitoring equipment, and that reduces then the need to use LOWs for those specific tasks. There are some tasks that we still need to do, and those tasks we can move into, say, for instance, line blockages and working with our operations colleague to protect line blockages and make sure that there are signal box instructions in place to make those uh, line blockages safe and, and protected. So that also reduces the need to, to use LAUS equipment as well. And there are some other places where we still need to do the task, but we're still concerned about LAUS obviously. And there are places where we will use train activated warning systems. So SATWAS or ATWAS as we know it as the acronyms, but train activated warning systems. And that will then allow us to migrate away from LAUS in a structured way using train activated warning systems to reduce the risk of human error while we're doing work on the railway. Thanks so much for that Nick. Is there any message that yourself and Network Rail want to put out to our audience here today? So the railway is a busy place and it's a you know we, there are risks that we know are apparent. We work with high voltage electricity, we work with moving trains, we work at height, heavy machinery, driving and um, I really appreciate everyone's focus on keeping not only themselves safe, but also their team members. A really proactive approach to planning. Um, what you do here with training is brilliant, um, but there's always more to do, so do not stop. And genuinely to all of your teams that work on and about the railway line, thank you for everything you're doing. Make sure you always take five, think about the, the risks that you're encountering and take active steps to, um, to obviously keep yourself and your team safe. So thank you very much. Thank you so much for today, Nick. Yeah, thanks, Nick.